Hey there, we're the Cargonauts. Antonia, Aria, Maeve, Olivia and Girish make up our team. It's been 10 years since we were commissioned by Cargonautica, the newest lunar settlement to make cargo pult and spiderella. Since the success of these ventures, we have been commissioned to design a sustainable housing means for the Moontown, considering the limited resources available and a zero waste approach. This housing system must be compact, collapsible and easy to take apart or move at a moment's notice. We retained a comprehensive understanding of the moon's conditions after our substantive experience innovating within the environment. As such, we can easily identify the critical factors that must be accounted for in our design. Namely, the design must be portable and easy to relocate at an urgent basis, durable enough to withstand the extremities experienced on the moon, sustainable and made from available lunar materials, multi-purpose and customizable according to the user's needs, using the available space effectively to be compact, replicable, easily constructed and produced. To source inspiration for the design, we looked at some innovative housing solutions. One such example was the Opod, an innovative means to solve the housing crisis in Hong Kong. It involves concrete tubes stacked atop one another that feature individual domiciles. However, the spherical design used here leads to some wasted space where the rooms connect. Additionally, the spherical structure may be somewhat precarious and unbalanced. Instead, we would create individual domiciles stacked together like honeycombs inspired by nature. This would lead to a less wasted space and a more stable grouping. A more stripped back approach to this would be implemented within the context of the moon. We envisioned our solution to be collapsible and stackable, inspired by the Wopat in a different and more compact form. A external structure was decided for the pot as it has the most potential to maximize the use of the available surface area and still function as an emergency shelter that could be constructed or taken apart at the moment's notice. This design would be lead to less wasted space. We determined that a vertical manner would allow the space to use most efficiently and easier to implement. This prototype demonstrates how our designs can easily be constructed and taken apart. To build the hive, the ends of the structures simply need to slide in. This will create a support and prevent the sides from collapsing. Based on the length of the honeycomb, extra support frames can be added within the building. To take it apart, the frames and ends simply need to be removed and sides collapse down to a flat pack. This makes it easier to move to different locations around the moon. The final design of our prototype is called the Hive. It consists of collapsible hexagonal pods, also known as hexapods, which can be stacked on top of each other to create structures for Cognotica. The collapsible nature of the hexapods makes it reliable as an emergency shelter. The striped down design of the exterior form of the Hive is simple enough to allow for customization regarding the interior of the pod. The interiors can be changed and personalized according to the user's needs which includes bathrooms, bedrooms, workspaces, lounges, cafeterias, etc. The size of the pods can vary depending on the need of the space. So, a bedroom pod can be larger than a bathroom pod, but still smaller than a cafeteria pod, because each space demands different size dimensions and space requirements. The pods are collapsible in such a way that it completely flattens out, and the side walls pop off easily essentially leaving flattened walls of a room that can easily be transported to a secondary location. There is also an elevator chute added in the center of the hexapods which makes for easy access to all the floors and hexapods in the hive. The elevator chute will have multiple side doors for opening and closing which will open according to the pod that needs to be accessed. The journey of the hive can be divided into three steps. The raw materials or the flattened walls of the hexapods are stored in the distribution warehive, ready to be transported to the construction site whenever needed. When the raw materials of the hexapods need to be moved, Spiderella carries them from the distribution warehive to the construction site in an easy and efficient manner because of her ability to carry multiple heavy objects at the same time. Once the raw materials have been transported to the construction area, they are then made into hexapods by fitting the walls into each other. Interiors are added in each pod according to the purpose. The newly constructed hexapods are then stacked on top of each other and an insulation sheet 
is added on top of the exterior walls to prevent excessive changes in temperature within the pods themselves. To ensure each window is durable, we propose using transparent aluminium. Transparent aluminium is a hard ceramic alloy resistant to corrosion, radiation and oxidisation already suggested for use in space. Additionally, we will use invisible solar cells which push light to the outer edges of windows where power generators are embedded. Each window will allow residents a sustainable source of energy. For the walls, we'll use multiple layers. The first layer we'll be using is a reflective sheet of steel extracted from iron contained within lunar soil. It would be reflective to repel heat. Two sheets of steel would surround an interior of aluminium foam, a lightweight yet extremely durable material made by injecting molten aluminium with gas particles. The aluminium foam's high strength to weight ratio would allow greater ease in transporting the design as well as the setup and deconstruction process. We found that the hive met all our critical functions. It is portable due to the light weight of the materials and its ability to collapse into a flat pack durable through its secure interlocking system between the rooms, as well as the materials, although lightweight, are strong, sustainable as the hive is powered through solar cells and the materials are made from resources found on the moon, multi-purpose through the stripped back design which allows flexibility to fit the needs of the community, compact as the rooms can be folded for easier transportation, and finally, replicable, as mentioned before, most materials are sourced from the moon and the construction of the design only requires three parts.